Women who attended Worthy were greeted with girls in purple Worthy shirts, a big smile, and a warm welcome. As I mentioned before, it is important to shop local now more than ever. From home goods to hand-painted jackets by local college students, you can find these items at local Stillwater shops. Shop local and shop Stillwater. For Pete's Corner, I'm Hartley Best. If you would like to donate to Countryside's Giving Tree, you can come on over to Countryside Baptist Church, located here on Western and 19th Street. You can vote early on October 29th through October 31st, and if you're a resident of Stillwater, you can vote early here at the Stillwater Community Center. Or if you're from out of town like myself, you can turn in an absentee ballot. Go vote and go Pokes! For Pete's Corner, I'm Hartley Best. It is important to shop local now more than ever. Stillwater is home to many local businesses, including a new boutique on the Strip, Twisted Horn. I was able to talk with Twisted Horn's founder and owner, Kaylee Horn, and ask her about the importance of shopping local, why she chose Stillwater, and everything her boutique has to offer. So my main concept for opening Twisted Horn was just that I had gone to college here at Oklahoma State. I graduated with an ag degree. I grew up with um, a background in the farm and ranch community. I was really active in FFA. And just as I went through college, all of my friends were, you know, always ordering these fun Western outfits and Western jewelry and things like that online. And I just kept thinking it would be so cool if there were somewhere local. I later sat down with Katie Barlow, manager of Typo Market, a local home goods, stationery, and all things creative shop, as she explained to me why Typo Market wanted to emphasize the importance of shopping local. Students should shop locally just to um, basically boost our economy. I think local is super important if you want to keep places unique and charming, I guess you could say, um, but also just to help your town. Um, the economy could really use students not just shopping at chains or franchises, and I think it's really awesome that we have a diverse um, shopping experience for those that come into Stillwater and they don't have to shop online for everything. As I mentioned before, it is important to shop local now more than ever. From home goods to hand-painted jackets by local college students, you can find these items at local Stillwater shops. Shop local and shop Stillwater. For Pete's Corner, I'm Hartley. On November 3rd, you aren't just voting for the next president of the United States. You are also voting on state questions, like state question 805. I think a lot of the problem is going to become policy versus personal feelings or, or like criminal litigation. Nolan Richardson, an OSU graduate and current OU law student, explains state question 805 from a policy standpoint. A policy that is going on with state question 805 is the aspect of domestic abuse. State Question 805 would amend the Oklahoma Constitution for people convicted of nonviolent crimes to end the use of sentence enhancements. But on the flip side, in regards to criminal litigation, when domestic abuse is not considered a violent crime, a lot of people will vote no. So in regards to that, I would say that you would have to pass in a statute or a question adding domestic abuse to that uh, violent crime list, and then I think this would honestly probably pass with flying colors. You can vote early on October 29th through October 31st, and if you're a resident of Stillwater, you can vote early here at the Stillwater Community Center. Or if you're from out of town like myself, you can turn in an absentee ballot. Hannah Sindelbach, an economics student at OSU, emphasizes the importance of state questions. I believe that state questions have a greater impact on our lives than even national elections, and so it's really important to vote on the policies that affect us um, day to day. For more information on how to vote, where to vote, and how to get registered, students can visit Edmund Lowe Library's website. Go vote and go Pokes! For Pete's Corner, I'm Hartley Best. Oklahoma State has a diverse range when it comes to students' faith and their spirituality. Katie Terry, an OSU graduate, founded a women's conference at OSU called Worthy. Worthy, like the purpose and mission of Worthy is to unite women on OSU's campus. 
The first conference consisted of around 25 small group leaders who joined together every two weeks to meet and pray over the conference and all who would attend. You know, just provide a space for community, for people to kind of talk about their faith and like learn and grow in their faith and like around a group of people who also are like-minded and also I think it like really like a big purpose of it was like obviously with the name worthy like worthy like to understand like how we are made worthy and we're not made worthy through like what we do or how we look like what we look like or the things that are said about us or our reputation like the women who attended worthy were greeted with girls in purple worthy shirts a big smile and a warm welcome but they can come to a place on campus and they can get to know girls who are also good at osu and they can build community and they can also encourage one another and learn about where their self-worth is found. The new Worthy Executive Team was recently announced and have begun working on the next conference, which is projected to be held on campus in 2021. For Pete's Corner, I'm Hartley Best.